day four, here we are again. We move through showing up, creating consistency and repetition in moments of where it gets challenging, where the heat of a transitional period of our life, or a day where we're just feeling uninspired and we don't want to get on the mat. And we move into day four. And in this, it's the balance. Letting balance be messy, playful. Finding the balance between doing and being. So as you're ready, find your way with me into downward facing dog. Hips up and back, heels towards the earth. Here, inhale, ripple forward, high plank. And you may adjust. Maybe you need to walk your hands a little bit more forward. And then from that position, plank pose, shoulders over the wrists, press through your fingertips, bend your knees, lift your hips up, turn your inner thighs towards one another, press your heart towards your thighs, downward dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Lengthen the top of your head to your thumbs. Focus on your breath. Inhale, look towards your fingertips. Step your right foot forward, then your left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Reach your chest forward. Exhale, forward fold, chin to chest, top of the head to the earth. Press through your feet, tone through your belly. Inhale, reach your arms towards the sky, look up. Exhale, hands through heart center, gaze forward as you begin to lower your arms down by your side body. Tadasana, mountain pose. Root down through your legs, lift up through your heart. Find the balance on both feet as you close your eyes. Press through all four corners of your feet. Activate your legs. Cubic bone presses down, heart lifts up. Shift your weight into your right leg. Open your eyes and look forward. Find a drishti, a focal point with your arms out to the side to help you balance. Lift your left knee towards your chest, one leg into Dasana. Flex your left toes towards your left knee. And as you do, maybe you wobble a little bit. Bring your hands to your heart, stretch your left leg back. Reach your shoulders forward and your left foot back. Virabhadrasana three. Shoulders and hips in one line. Left leg parallel to the mat. You can always choose to have your hands on the mat under your shoulders for balance. Tuck your chin slightly. Flex your left toes to the mat. Begin to bend your right knee as you lower the ball of your left foot onto the earth. Press it, lunge, press the earth away. Inhale, reach your arms up. Palms near, face one another. As you wrap the shoulders down your back, lift your heart. Bend your elbows, palms together. Tilt your head back as you rest your head in the heel of your hands. Open your elbows. Lift your chest and your chin. Stay connected to your breath. As you lift high up onto the ball of your left foot, bend your right knee. Point, shine your hips forward as you allow your heart to expand to the sky. Use the strength of your legs as you move your hips slightly back. Inhale, arms up, full crescent lunge. Begin to reach your chest forward as you stretch your fingertips towards the back of your mat. Long mat. Come high onto the ball of your left foot. Bend your right knee, gaze to the earth. Fingertips stretch towards the back of your hips. Heart shines forward. Look at the mat. Find your breath. Begin to lean your weight into your right leg. Lift your left leg. Fly the warrior with arms back by your hips. Point your left toes to the back of your mat. You're doing so good. Stay with your breath as you bend your right knee. One leg into Dasana. Left knee comes in towards your chest. Arms reach to the sky. Feel the energy moving as you begin to lower left foot down. Arms by your hips. Palms face forward. Settle into the energy of your balance. Both feet to the earth. Be with your breath. It's not always easy. Sometimes the tree is super windy and it doesn't stay still. But 
And there's that moment where everything pauses and nothing moves. And you simply can be and observe the effects of your life, of your practice. And you show up and you witness and you observe. Gaze forward, open your eyes, shift your weight to the left side, one leg to dasana, reach your arms up. Activate your left, your right foot as you flex your right toes towards your right knee. Flying warrior three, hands to your heart, right leg goes back behind you. Extend out through the top of your head as you press your right foot back into an imaginary wall. Keep a micro bend in your left knee as you feel your breath move through you. And witness the balance that you have on this side. It may be messy. Allow it to be messy. Let it be playful. There is no right pose. Shift your weight back into your right foot as you lower the ball of your right foot to the ground. Use the stability of your legs and the consistency of your practice to inhale. Rise. Press and lunge. Strength through your legs as you lift through your heart. Bend your elbows. Anchor your legs into the mat. Support your head. Support your heart as you move your shoulders back. Inhale, lift your chest up. Use the breath to stabilize you here as you allow your heart to continuously expand open as you repeatedly show up. You move through the challenging moments. You find the balance between effort and grace. Moment to moment, breath to breath. Shift your hips back, inhale, reach your arms up, crescent lunge. Heart reaches forward, fingertips reach back. Keep the lunge in your legs as you extend your heart forward like a bow and arrow. The balance between the left foot and the right foot. As you expand your heart forward, begin to shift your weight into your left leg. Lift your right leg off the mat. Find warrior three, point your right toes behind you, rear up a drasana. Channel the inner warrior as you play with balance, whatever it may be on this side, to transition with as much grace as possible, effort to come. Warrior three, one leg to dasana. Wherever you are, let it be this moment and release. Sadasana. Mountain pose. Arrive. And be. Eyes, inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, thighs back, heart forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands onto the mat, step back, high plank pose. Push up light position. Lower your knees onto the mat, tabletop. Kick stand your left toes out to the side. Extend your right leg back behind you. Right outer right foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Right toes point towards the long edge. Reach your right arm towards the sky. Side plank. Option to come into full expression of side plank. Slide your left foot underneath of your right foot. Flex your toes towards your face. Lift your left hip. Look up. Lift your left hip. Balance on one side of your body with your breath. As you lower the right hand down, find your way back into downward facing dog. Three to five breaths in down dog. You can always take child's pose here. Kickstand your right toes out to the side, extend your left foot back behind you. 
Press through your right hand, extend, lengthen your left arm up, Vashtisasana, side plank. Full expression, slide your right foot underneath of your left. Shoulders, wrists, one line. For more balance, look to the earth. To challenge balance, look out to the left or all the way up towards the left thumb. We'll knee back and downward facing dog. Lower your knees onto the mat, knees together, big toes touch. Send your butt onto your heels. Stack your hands. Rest your forehead on your stacked hands. As you fold forward into child's pose, forehead on the hands. Draw your awareness inward. And allow grace to take over. Nothing you need to do now, but simply to be here. I'll see you tomorrow for day five.